Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm gonna show you guys Windows Vista Home Premium Lite. It's a uh, Windows Vista with 700 megabyte download. It, the RAM usage is roughly 200 to 300 megabytes. Right now it's high because I'm running Windows Update, which is like, takes a lot, as you see here. And this is also a virtual machine, which makes the RAM go higher. And I'm running Camtasia. When you first start it up, right here, all those. When you first start it up, it's going to be at least 200, and that's how it's going to stay. 200 megabytes of RAM. But um, it's really, it's it'd run perfectly on 512 megabytes for you people with that. Okay, so the wallpapers are stripped down. Some of the Windows components are stripped that you don't need. I have Windows 7 back up. I don't know. I used to have Windows 7 on this virtual machine. It's a... Yeah. Right now, I'm running a virtual machine with 750 megabytes of RAM. I should have just put 512, but... It comes with the Internet... Explore works perfectly, very fast, but I would recommend getting Firefox. I hate Internet Explorer. The 8 is supposed to be better though. It comes with a sidebar, and it comes with sample pictures, so you gotta like personalize. And desktop background. And if you go to Windows wallpapers, there's nothing's gonna be here. Those are your pictures, sample pictures. There's a lot of stuff here. It's just like Windows Vista, you click it and the picture comes up. It's just it's it's it is Windows Vista. It is. This is what Windows Vista should have been. Just like this. Nice start menu, start search. Um nice thing right here. The games are removed, but who needs games, right? I mean, these games are kind of crappy, you know? Recycle bin. Yeah, why am I showing you this? Everything, I tried to get, you know, Ariel on here, but it didn't work. Since it's home, premium, uh, and it's slimmed down, the area is gone, but you don't, you don't need it. Just to show off, it's fine. I, I tried to install that. So, I'm rambling again. It's, just get it. Get this. I'm not even kidding. Just install this as a secondary OS and dual boot them. But this is it. This is really nice. I'm probably going to install this on my computer too. Another thing I want to say is if you go in the description to my Born Hacker X account, you could ask me for the serial number for this, but it does have a crack that stops the time days for 30 days, and it just keeps it at 30. So if you want that, or you could ask my other account for the serial. But go to that account and do not ask me in the comment box. You could write a review on how you like this, and post a video response too. But whatever you do, just don't mention the serial code in the comment box. You can message me if you want. Just message my other account. Yeah, so f after you do that, you could either install this, which comes with it. It's really nice. I just did it. It worked fine. And install updates right away. You want these. So hopefully I told you guys everything about this nice OS. It works perfectly. No problems. I heard... I saw a comment say no problems after a whole year. So after with the crack installed, so it's probably fine. Five hundred twelve megabytes work perfectly. One gig even better. Um, so, yep. Hope you guys believe me and get this awesome OS. Comes with everything. Show desktop. Nice start menu. All the eye candy comes with it. 
you might have to install some of your drivers so but uh okay hope i answered everything if you have any questions post it in the comment i'll put my channel in the description and the uh, link the direct link for some people who can't get to it put the direct link in the description and post a, a video response too if you like it that much so um,